Abilene Youth Sports Authority is helping kiddos stay active while learning life skills. Last summer, they did see a drop in program participation, so they are getting creative this year. Our Annabelle Smallwood spoke with the executive director of AYSA, as well as health experts, to see just how important it is for our youth to stay moving. With summer break being just around the corner, students are preparing to get out of school and relax. I have kids and they like to play on their iPad and play on the video games as well. Um, but I, me as a parent, I know how important it is for them to get moving. And this is what Brandon Osborne, executive director of AYSA, says he noticed last year as there was a decrease in students attending their summer events. For a lot of reasons. One, people just wanted to, to breathe a little bit, just go, I just want to relax and we just want to stay home. Osborne puts together events every summer, allowing youth to get active in a fun way. Our summer programs that we primarily offer are always related with basketball and volleyball. And they are incorporating more programs to motivate youth to get active this summer. Dr. Lindsay Spindler, kinesiology professor at Hardin Simmons, says that although everyone should be active. If you can establish habits as a younger person, then that hopefully will carry on as you get older. Saying that adolescents prioritizing their physical health can prevent cardiovascular disease as well as lowering body fat. Body fat increases and uh, activity levels are decreasing and so we know this is happening within our population. Dr. Spindler also saying that this will help improve mental health in teenagers as depression rates are continuing to increase. And Chantel Lancaster, director of Fletcher Fitness Center at HSU, saying you should get active in fun ways to find motivation. You don't need a gym membership, you don't need a fancy facility to uh, uh, get active. Instead, youth can participate in fun activities, such as the programs that are happening this summer at AYSA. In Abilene, Annabelle Smallwood, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Annabelle. In 2019, the Taylor County Public Health Department discovered local obesity rates were above the average in Texas. Right now, the department is working on projects to increase awareness on obesity prevention. And for details on AYSA's summer programs, you can check out our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.